Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyra, and I make videos on tips, tricks, and organization for small space living. So today's video is all about HelloFresh. So let me start off by saying this video is not sponsored. HelloFresh did not send me a box for free for making this video. One of my best friends gave me a coupon for a free box, so I did use that. But if you guys are interested after this video and you wanna get your own HelloFresh box, I have a discount code for $40 off, so I'll go ahead and put that in the description box. Let me start off by saying I am pretty skeptical about HelloFresh. I think the whole idea of it is really cool, but I think it's really expensive. I love the idea of trying meals you've never cooked before, having everything portioned out for you, and the convenience of it being delivered right to your house. But for what you get for it, I just don't see how the money could actually add up. So my box arrived today, and I was super excited about it. I opened it up. Hey guys, it is Saturday, and my HelloFresh box just arrived. Right, let's go grab it. Yeah. Oh God, it's so much heavier than I anticipated. Ooh. But look, they come with like instructions on what how it's to supposed to look like. Yeah. So we got our fried tilapia sandwiches in this bag. Grilled Mediterranean steak. Sweet and spicy meatloaves. I'm excited for those. And sesame beef tacos. Those ones look super good, babe. Oh, and then all the meats at the bottom. The way it's all done is super convenient. All of your meals are prepackaged individually with all of their respective ingredients. It's all done to the exact amounts that you would need so you won't have anything left over that might be going bad because you're not gonna use it. It's all very exact. And then it also comes with the recipe sheets that have step-by-step -step instructions on how to make each meal. I wanted to do a comparison to see how much it would cost to buy these groceries at the grocery store versus how much the actual HelloFresh meals cost. So when purchasing a box, I did a four meal box. You can do a three meal option if you want and all of these meals are enough for two people which is perfect i want to head into the four meal and for the price for the four meal box alone it's 71.92 and then on top of that you have to pay the 5.99 shipping to get your box so in total it comes out to 77.91 or that's about how much i pay in groceries each week for me and my boyfriend so to have that be not groceries for your entire week but just have it be four meals that's probably more than I would like to spend. So the first meal I wanna talk about is the sesame beef tacos. These look awesome and I'm super excited to try them. But after I added up all of the ingredients on the sesame beef tacos, if I was buying everything and didn't own a single one of these ingredients, it comes out to $29.24, which that's kind of crazy since considering I have four meals and the total would have been $77 and the first one already is just about 30 bucks. My kitchen is a mess, but I am making Korean beef tacos. That's not even what they're called sesame beef tacos these things look so good and they're supposed to be really easy so cilantro cabbage sesame oil <laughs> the cutest little srirachas garlic powder soy sauce korean chili flakes sour cream white wine vinegar more sour cream one tortilla and a little cucumber and some radishes Won't be looking like a snack and like by a snack I don't mean like it's looking cute or anything like it actually just like I could eat this as a snack it's not that much food eh, close enough or buying the ingredients in the grocery store came out to a lot more than I would have anticipated. You do have to keep in mind a lot of these items, like if I bought them from the grocery store, I'd have a ton left over, such as soy sauce or sriracha. Like I'd still have those sauces afterwards, whereas in HelloFresh, you just get the right amount needed for that specific meal. I feel like this would be really helpful if you were someone who maybe you travel for work a ton and you are only home for like a week at a time and you don't wanna have to have leftovers in case they go bad, a HelloFresh box might be perfect because you'd be able to get your box, have the right amount of meals and you know you wouldn't be eating out for the rest of the week and your groceries would be done. But as somebody who primarily lives at my house, it would make more sense for me to have those ingredients on deck so that way I wouldn't need to get them if I needed them for something else. So the next meal was the tilapia sandwiches. This one, if I bought all the ingredients from the store, it would have come out to $21.15. Sweet and spicy meatloaves would have come out to $26.42. And the Mediterranean steak, 
would have come out to $15.49. Guys, I'm just being a big grouch today and I don't wanna cook dinner and I just wanna order something. But I have the meal, so I will cook it, so it is saving me money from ordering food. Today I am making the grilled Mediterranean steak. I don't have a grill pan. Oh well. Garlic, the zucchini. Why is the zucchini in a bag? This is a waste. Mediterranean marinade, a tomato, a lemon, and the bulgur wheat. I have never used this ingredient before. Far, like the most labor intensive meal I've made. I like didn't even get to film because everything had to happen at the same time and everything had to happen super fast, but everything looks good. But that one was not a quick and easy 30 minute meal. Like by far, that took me almost 45 minutes and it was hard. Say I was meal planning and I wanted to cook all four of these meals this week and I didn't own a single one of the ingredients, my total would have come out to 92.30, which is kind of shocking to me. I really did not think that buying the ingredients at the grocery store would be more expensive than the box. 